Okay, morning everyone. It's uh, sunrise over the desert. Now, I've got to be honest, I had a freezing night up here. Absolutely freezing. So it's about half five in the morning. But I wanted to get up and have a quick look at this. So the sun's probably a little bit higher than I wanted it to be. <laughs> but I think... Uh, Oh, it wasn't so much the temperature as the wind, and we were covered in. I know um, most of my guide was completely covered in his blanket. It was that cold. So anyway, that's sunrise over the desert. Al Akbar, that is great. If you're not religious, it's still a wonderful thing. Absolutely amazing. However, there's also Whilst nobody's around and it's so early, I suppose I could go and look at that um, haunted palace. But I'd be mad to go up there, wouldn't I, by myself at this time? I mean, it's, I know it's light, but it's still quite early. Or would I? Okay, I might go and have an investigate around there. As I say, this place, um, I don't know if the word's cursed, but uh, certainly um, haunted is what locals say. But uh, you guys would want me to look in there, wouldn't you? You're not up here. All right, let me take pause and I'll walk over there and we'll have a look inside. Okay, I made it into the uh, the Pasha's ruined palace and there's really not that much left in here. There were some people here, you see some graffiti on the walls. There were some Egyptians in here yesterday evening, but they left. Um, as I said, I don't think... Uh, People generally stay the night here. You can see there's not much left inside, so it's a, it's a bit of a wreck. But you can see there is definitely a lower level. Um, I don't, not catacomb, not the right word. Definitely lower levels that have been blocked, so you can't actually actually go there anymore. And there is definitely, I don't know if that means anything. There's a lot of flies here. I mean, there's a lot of flies all over the desert. But it seems to be more here than anywhere else. It's, um, it is quite an eerie place. I'm not sure if it's because of all the sort of stories that they've said. But it's definitely an eerie place. I'm, I'm quite glad it's not uh, during the day, uh, during the night that I'm in here. Let's see, I come up here. It's, it's pretty early. It's like half five. But uh, so you see, there's not really a lot here. Again, lower levels that have crumbled. I think they're underneath. So I'm sure there's stuff to see underneath. I'm just not sure there's a way, a way down. Again, there's a few sort of hidden tunnels off to different sides. I think that one just goes through to, to other rooms. So this is the Pasha's Palace. This is where the, the prince that had everything was gonna have his court but it didn't work out like that. So you can see, it's uh, quite a mess. Quite a strange, strange, eerie atmosphere here as well. As I say, some people were here, but nobody seems to stay for very long. Um, the ruins just quite here as well. You can see why he chose the position. Superb position on top, it's fantastic view as I said yesterday. The guy had tuberculosis, so he was probably hoping this would uh, extend his life. Uh, just more rooms over here. Let me just have one look over. Yeah, just more rooms. More rooms that they've started building. Right, appreciate on the camera, it's probably not easy to get this, but this is quite high, this location's quite high, and it's, a, it's definitely a strange, uh, definitely got a strange feeling, but like, um, I don't know, it's not as buried here, but it's a bit like uh, visiting a spooky cemetery, that's what it feels like, as I said, I don't know if that's because the locals have talked about it, but that's what it feels like, so let me just have a more stuff over there. Right, so that's the Pasha's Temple. 
uh, Pasha's Palace or Temple. <laughs> Too much love for Ethiopian pillars, Titanic blocks. Right, I'm going to move out here. I don't want to stay in here for too long. This is one of those places with a, a bit of an oppressive atmosphere. So, shall I leave you with one long sweep of the desert? I'm sorry, sir, I've given you so many views of the desert, but uh, this is a lot to see. But um, so this is Pasha's Palace, creepy, spooky, Lovecraft would have loved this. Good setting, setting for Adam Baker's book as well. Perfect ruins. So I'll leave you there.